Hi, I'm Mikey Brickman, and today I'm going to show you how to make Buddy the Elf out of Lego minifigures. Let's get into it. Starting off with the top of the head, there are a lot of elf-shaped hats, but a majority of them have yellow ears. As you can see with this pink style right here, and even this one right here. And another thing that we have to take into consideration when looking at Buddy the Elf is that he has this curly hair that pops out from the bottom of his hat. So after spending a ton of time sifting through all these different styles of hats, I believe that the Peter Pan hat is going to be our best bet. His ears are visible, he's got hair that's popping out, it's green, and there is a little bit of red, even though there is no yellow on there. So for his hat, we are going to use Peter Pan's. When it came to his head, I had a lot of difficulty trying to find one that I was happy with. Russell seemed like a good contestant, as well as this Harry Potter character. I even liked the look of Sheldon's smiling face. But ultimately, I kept finding myself coming back to the Peter Pan smile. It just looks so innocent and childlike. So for the head, we are going to use Peter Pan. For the torso and arms, there are plenty of elf options. But when it comes to trying to find something that's most similar to what we see on screen, I'm going to go with this style right here. So for the torso and arms, we are just going to use the Holiday Elf Series 11. And then for Buddy the Elf's legs, we're going to go with the Beach Goer. You can see that there's green on top and yellow on the bottom. And this looks a lot like what we see on Buddy the Elf, even though we're not going to be able to signify the shoes. You'll notice on Buddy the Elf that he has this white poofy collar as well as these white poofy cuffs. Unfortunately, this style does not have a white collar. Lego does make a white collar, as you can see on this pink elf. But for the white cuffs, we can actually use these handcuffs. I have seen plenty of people modify these by cutting them, which it gives me this feeling of, no, you can't do that. But for the sake of this minifigure, I definitely think it's worth it. The only downside is that this piece only came out in one set, the Spider Queen's Arachnid base, but it's a relatively cheap piece. Now to signify that neck collar, you could use this neck collar fur texture, which is found on the Snow Guardian. But when I put it on, it didn't look good. For his other accessories, we're going to grab him a snowball, a cup of hot coffee, and since Lego doesn't make a maple syrup piece, to my knowledge, we're going to use a measuring cup as well as a little brown piece. So you slap all those pieces together and you've got Buddy the Elf. This is what he looks like with all of his accessories together. Now, I did mention that you could put the fur collar on him, but I feel like he's Buddy the Pimp Elf with that, you know? But if you wanted to do just a little bit more modification, you could get some white out or some white paint and then slap it on here like this. And this looks like a quintessential Buddy the Elf minifigure. Really hope you get a chance to make this minifigure. And if you liked this video, be sure to check out the other custom Lego minifigure videos I've made. Be sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.